guys, my name is Jayla for those of you who don't know and if you're familiar with my channel, welcome back. Um, so happy you guys are watching. Um, so for those of you who are new to my channel, just to give you a little insight, um, my bake chopped about four months ago and before then I had bra strap length hair my whole entire life. Relax the bra strap length hair and um, on impulse it was just one day I was like babe just cut it off because I, I I need to cut it off it's shedding it was shedding horribly I needed to cut it off so one day I just cut it off and I just thought all the way up to cutting it off and I didn't really think of what happened afterwards so immediately after I did it um, I was like, oh no, I didn't know I was going to look like, I literally looked like my little, my dad when he was younger and I was like, I can't do this, this is too much, you know, and I started crying <laughs> and that led to the, my big chop was a big mistake video with the sad SPCA music in the background and um, all that good stuff, so um, go check that out if you want to see me look, if you want to see me cry, I don't personally watch that video anymore um, or read the comments because it's just like I don't want to look at it I don't don't I don't want to I just don't want to remind myself of it it was really it was really low but if you're watching this video that must mean that you either big chop or you're thinking about big chopping so yeah I'm gonna give you guys some advice that I wish I had before I big chop and it's 10 reasons on why you should love your TWA or big chop Don't worry about strangers. Only care about those who care about you. Um, Cause people will legit tell you don't care what anybody thinks and then they will tell you what they think like there's some kind of exception. So literally tune everyone out that does not matter. You got to own it. You gotta own it. Even if you don't feel comfortable, look comfortable it's like high heels like they hurt but girl you in the club and you gotta look cute so you gotta deal with it you gotta own it for real oh my gosh i just feel like everybody's looking at me and i'm not gonna go anywhere because i feel like everybody is looking at me do you know what everybody's been looking at you they've been the same amount of people have been looking at you it's just now you're insecure about something so you feel like people are looking at your hair and they're not. They're just looking at your beautiful face with your beautiful smile and your beautiful personality. And they're not looking at your hair. It's like a pimple. It's like, oh my God, girl, this pimple's so big on my face. And it's like, girl, I didn't even notice it until you said something. And it's like, oh. Because I know that's happening, y'all. It happens to everybody. It's the same thing. People will judge and criticize you anyway, so you might as well do what you want to do. Remember, you are a goddess. I feel like a goddess sometimes. And I don't know if that's like a good, like the correct term, but my skin is brown. My skin is beautiful. I feel like a goddess sometimes. You gotta keep your head up. If you feel good, you look good. If you look good, you do good. If you reveal any insecurities, like I did, <laughs> talk about them. Don't ignore them. Confront them, look at them, find the source of them, don't hide them. Don't be ashamed of them. Learn from your insecurities. And if your self-esteem needs a little pick-me-up, um, do your makeup. Take pictures. Have a little mini photo shoot. Sometimes do it new, you know? I mean, it doesn't hurt anybody. <laughs> it also helps if you realize that you're not the only one that feels like a little bill or a naked mom rat. Because, you know, some of us, we feel that way sometimes. We do. We feel like that, but it helps knowing that you're not the only one out there that feels like that. It kind of validates your feelings. Do yourself a favor and do not get a wig. Do not get any braids. You will simply cover up your insecurities versus dealing with them. Experiment with makeup. Even if you don't wear much makeup, experiment with it anyway, you know? It's like adding, it's like your curls. They're already there, but you add a little gel on it, it makes them a little bit more shinier. Girls, you gotta ignore those people who say, it's just hair, it'll grow back. It's not just hair. 
Hair is a big part of you from the time you are little to the time you, from, from, from as far back as you can remember, you've always had hair. And it's just like one of those things where it's like, I've always had this, what am I gonna do without it? So don't think that hair is just, it's not just hair. Although it should not define you, I feel like it's not, it's not a, it's not just an accessory either. I feel like hair holds a lot, we hold a lot of value on our hair. Maybe too much, maybe too little, but still there's value there. Girl, you better add a headband, girl. If you don't like your hair, and you struggling with it, add a headband, add some gel, experiment with products. I've seen some YouTubers on here that just kind of like to go the natural look, and I mean, I'm natural, but I'm not that natural to the point where I don't want to put gel in my hair or product in my hair to define my curls, because it's just not the look that I'm going for. Because I got beautiful curls, and I feel like I need to enhance them. It's just like my face. I have a beautiful face, but I don't mind drawing a little bit of eyebrow on there, you know what I'm saying? To make it, you know, a little better. So experiment with products, you know, get a headband. I wear headbands sometimes. Big earrings. Wear some big earrings. I just bought some big earrings and I wear them um, to a baby shower and I love them and I felt wonderful and they were beautiful. I never wore big earrings a day in my life before I cut my hair, but I love them. And remember to make your journey as beautiful as your destination. Something I wish I could have done, but it's never too late. It's never too late. You need to love yourself and love your hair every step of the way. Because I look back on when I, how bald I was. I'm like, Dang, I was bald. I'm like, man, I should have got a dope haircut. It would have been like, you know, something else out of my element. I should have got a haircut. I should have experienced. I ain't gonna cut off my baby hairs because I, I heard the dang grow back. So I refuse to get a lining. But make your journey as beautiful as your destination. I love that saying. I love it. I love it because it's so true. It's so true. Everybody's all like, oh, hair goes, hair goes, but nobody wants to go through the journey. And it's not just about hair, it's about growth. It's about yourself, it's about your spirit, it's about your, everything grows, everything grows. Not only your hair, but your body, your mental, everything about you grows. So own it, love it, it's yours. It's yours. I cried one day, me and my husband went out to eat, and I cried, I was like, why can't I feel beautiful with hair, without hair? You know, like, why can't I do red hair, pink hair? Why don't I just feel comfortable in myself? I said I would have inspired so many more girls if I would have just owned it. And it bothered me for a little while. But I got over it because I realized that I helped the ones that were struggling just like me. Like when I thought I was alone and I seen everybody in my comments saying, you're not alone, I feel the same way. I realized I helped a lot of people, but still, Make your journey as beautiful as your destination.